Japan remains the world's second largest economy and Australia's number one trading partner. In a mature partnership that extends over 50 years and continues to evolve into new areas of mutual interest. In this international briefing from Austrade, we speak to Liz Masamune, Austrade's Japan Country Manager and Senior Trade Commissioner based in Tokyo, about positioning Australian business to take advantage of changes and the opportunities emerging from the new Japan. Australia's relationship with Japan is based on mutually held values and beliefs and extends right across the spectrum of trade, investment, people-to-people -people linkages, cultural exchanges, defence and security agreements. Japan regards Australia as a safe, reliable and conveniently located business partner. Japan has in fact been Australia's largest export destination since 1967. Exports to the Japanese market reached an all-time record of 50 billion Australian dollars in 2008 accounting for 19% of Australia's total export output to a single destination. Japan is currently experiencing an unprecedented period of political and economic turmoil. The global economic downturn has exposed Japan's continuing heavy reliance on export-led growth. Understanding where and how the new changes will lead to new opportunities for Australia is both a challenge but a unique window of opportunity in itself. Japanese consumers are among the world's most sophisticated, with an ageing population and the highest level of household savings in the world. With a population of 126 million, the Japanese market is characterised by consumers with high levels of disposable income. Japan's silver generation faces challenges to preserve and grow their substantial wealth of US $14 trillion in household savings. As the population ages, Japan is tipped to be the world's leading test bed for the silver market. Japan has made a name for itself as a nation of quality and innovation, with companies with a strong global orientation. Japanese companies pride themselves at being at the forefront of innovation, spending 3.5% of GDP on R&D in 2006, compared with only 26 in the United States. Japanese buyers are drawn to premium, higher-end goods and services, Along with this comes a strong commitment and loyalty to business partners. Japan faces a number of economic and structural challenges going forward. Many of these longer term drivers for change offer opportunities for Australia, not just in traditional areas of agribusiness and energy, but in services and technology. Continuing emphasis on increasing productivity among the declining workforce, the need to more fully utilise women and increased reliance on technology for competitive edge and growth in outsourced services are key social and corporate themes. Japan's ongoing reliance on imported minerals and energy and growing concerns over food safety and food security, with food self-sufficiency hovering at around 40%, are top of mind for them. The mainstream of the Japanese economy remains cashed up, however, both in terms of individual savings and liquidity, and in terms of corporate balance sheets. Japan is now faced with the dilemma of how best to utilise its significant assets in uncertain times. As a result of good profits and prudent management in recent years, Japan's large corporates continue to target M&A and Greenfield's investment opportunities worldwide. Japan's investment in Australia now exceeds the total value of our two-way trade, but represented only 3% of total Japanese outwards investment in 2008 compared with 36% invested in the US. Japanese investors are there for the long haul. They're looking for environmental technology, agribusiness, infrastructure and renewable energy opportunities in Australia, alongside more traditional resource investments. Increasingly, Japanese investments in, in Australia are targeted at the Australian domestic market itself, or aimed at using Australia as a springboard into Asia. These developments offer potential to take the strong, long-standing relationship between the two nations to a new level of collaboration and partnership. Reflecting Japan's importance to Australia, Austrade has a network of four offices in Japan, extending from Sapporo in the north through to Tokyo and Osaka and Fukuoka in the south, staffed by over 45 Australian and Japanese professionals. Each office delivers a comprehensive range of services to help Australian companies develop business into Japan and to promote Japanese investment into Australia. 
Austrade manages a substantial customer base of over 3,000 regular buyers of Australian products and services across the length and breadth of the Japanese archipelago. Six national teams focus on the key sectors of food and beverages, agribusiness and clean energy, services, consumer products, technology and the creative arts. Our exciting new initiatives include a project aimed at highlighting Australia's strengths in food safety and traceability, an extensive study of the spending patterns and market segmentation of the very wealthy Japanese consumer, a project aimed at linking the extensive corporate networks of Australia and Japan respectively in third countries across Asia to mutual benefit, and an ongoing study into the new business opportunities emerging from Japan's need to engage its women in business. Our teams provide national coverage across Japan, at the same time capitalising on the insider knowledge and networks that Austrade's 17-year investments in its presence in regional Japan has delivered. For more information on how Austrade can help your business, visit austrade.gov.au or call 13 28 78.